Hello everyone, our today's topic is Green Cloud Computing. Green Cloud Computing is a very important concept in the case of our latest data driven data centers. So most of the companies are bound to reduce their carbon footprints in the environment so that we can minimize the environmental effects of such a huge data centers which we use for cloud so in this era of reducing the carbon footprint companies are taking very important decisions to reduce their carbon footprint and they are trying to trying to make our environment more greener so for this work most of the companies are opting for renewable energy resources and they are also trying to relocate their servers in a colder regions where they need not to use their natural resources or you can say they need not to spend so much amount of money in maintaining those data centers so that is where we use uh, that is how a green cloud computing is working in providing you with a better environment as compared to what we were having and we were we are trying to reduce the carbon footprints at the same time so the first is the green cloud computing world is for looking forward to increase the energy efficiency of your data centers the cloud computing is an important facet of any it operation and we try to make it as greener as possible so the green cloud computing is certainly a superior marketing label because every company wants to target inside their portfolio that we are a zero carbon company or we are having zero carbon footprint it is a latest marketing tactic as well so let us see what are the different aspects on which a company needs to work to make their servers more greener or to opt for green cloud computing. What are the different things or factors which are going to affect the green cloud computing model? So first one is product longevity. Now what does it mean? We should increase the lifetime of our products so that we are able to generate less amount of carbon according to some studies it was it was found that the highest amount of carbon is generated when a product is being developed or that product is removed from its life cycle so we should try to increase the product longevity so that we are able to reduce those two different uh, things that is uh, getting the resources or preparing the resources and then dumping them so we should be able to reduce those two largest factors in this the second is data center design the data centers should be designed in such a way that they are more energy efficient the cooling environment should require less amount of power to maintain the required temperature so that is how we can design the data centers in a better way to get best out of them. Then the third thing is algorithmic efficiency. In the case of algorithmic efficiency, the algorithms which we are using to process the data should be so fast that we are able to get the output in a very short time, thus reducing the overall usage of our resources then the next thing which we have that is resource allocation in the case of resource allocation we are going to allocate our resources in such a way that if required if i am able to save my electricity by shifting my resources from one particular data center to another data center i should opt for that so it will help us to uh, keep our systems at a best performing place. Then 
the next factor which we have that is power management so in power management we have acpi that is advanced configuration and power interface so this acpi helps your systems to automatically uh, you can say power off or not power off it will help you to hibernate most of the devices which are unused for longer period of time this system will automatically hibernate the devices which are no longer in use and once those devices require a usage we will be able to retrieve the same state from those devices whenever we want so this also helps in managing the systems power then the next factor is material recycling so in material re recycling there are number of such materials which are used in different landfills and we can use those resources to create some new substances and also google is working on some techno uh, some of the farms in which what they are using mercury uh, sorry they are using methane gas to generate electricity and we will discuss about that as well so this was related to the important factors which are going to effect on green cloud computing now we will talk about some of the examples related to green cloud and how those companies are working to reduce their overall carbon footprint so first we will be talking about facebook so there are three main factors according to which we find out that whether we are able to do good in making our systems more uh, work efficient or not so first one is energy how they are and from where they are generating their energy to operate second is greenhouse gas emissions that how much how much amount of gases they are uh, sending in the environment then the third factor is water how much water do they need to operate so first of all we will talk about energy now in the case of energy if we see the graph so in 2014 facebook was using 221% of the energy which was renewable but the biggest part that was 79% was used from re non renewable resources like coal and other things which generate the electricity as they have reached to 2018 what they did the total amount of renewable energy is now 75% whereas the non renewable energy which we have is now reduced to 25% only this is a huge increase in the renewable energy in the case of facebook then we have certain power usage effectiveness that is how efficiently your company is able to use the power generated so in that case facebook is constantly working in a very efficient manner the company standard uh, the industry standard is 1.5 whereas facebook is able to achieve 1.1 level at that pace so it is very good work on the eue end of facebook then if we talk about the carbon emissions or the gas emissions in the environment facebook has reduced it in 2018 to the lowest level till now in 2014 the level was 444 so the total data center operations are there how much ghg emissions 1000 metric tons of co2 is added to environment so now it has been reduced to 31400 so facebook is also capable uh, has also reduced the amount of carbon emission then let us talk about the water how much usage of water they are doing so we can see in this way they are <clears throat> drawing huge amount of water right now for their data center operations 
So first one which we are talking about is in 2014 there was 0.48 means 4 lakh uh, 4 lakh 65 thousand liters of uh, million million meters cube of water was drawn from uh, ground or from you can say uh, other places like the rivers and all that places now they are using <coughs> it has increased to a huge extent so this needs to be reduced because companies are currently fetching a lot of water from the different resources and if we talk about water efficiency that is water usage efficiency WUE so still it is better than other data centers because even if it has increased but still if we look at the industry standards then still it is very very efficient this was about Facebook so this is one uh, one of the chart which in which you can see the terms properly so electricity usage in 2014 was 1 lakh 30 10 lakh 35000 whereas at this place it is 34 lakh 27000 which has uh, i think tripled which has tripled over time from 2014 to 2018 now there is yet a very interesting fact if we check on this total electricity usage is 10 lakh 35 thousand and at this place it is 34 lakh 27 thousand if we check at this place the renewable energy consumption was 21 percent only but the non-renewable energy was 79 percent so if we check the 79% of this value of 10 lakh 35,000, then it will be less than the 25% value of 2018. So let us try to do it. I will bring you this 1035000. That is this value multiplied by 0.7. Nine. So that is 79 percent. It is 8,17,650. So this was the total non-renewable usage. Whereas if we think it in the other sense, now it is only 25 percent. So 25 percent 0.25 multiply by 3427000. It comes out to be 8 lakh 56 thousand which is which is still more so in the case of percentages in the case of percentages it is a very huge amount of uh, power saving which uh, facebook has done that is they have increased it from 21 percent to 75 percent of renewable energy it is good but in figures if you check it in the other sense this 79 percent is less than this 25 percent which is currently in 2018 so this is how you can think about these things then in the case of uh, gas emissions they have reduced it at this place facebook is doing a very good job so you can say like this then we have water drawing and all those uh, water withdrawals in cubic meters so how many how much water they have drawn so it has significantly increased in uh, 2018 it might be that they are using instead of using the normal HVAC system now they might be using water uh, usage they are uh, using more water to make their systems cooler so in this case you can check there is total amount of recycled water as well so out of this this much amount is recycled water so they are doing quite a good work in all the aspects so then we will move to google so in google google's main work is on the renewable energy as well so google is also working on the renewable energy but their approach is little bit different they are using different methods to generate the electricity 
Google is using actually windmills to generate the electricity. This is their first production uh, method. Second, they are also using the panels for renewable energy. The third thing which they are using are the landfills from where they generate the methane gas. Methane gas is generated in the landfills and from those uh, landfills, they generate the, ele they generate the electricity. So we'll talk about this. This is one and let us see the uh, Google value chain. On this part, it is the energy and the energy might be generated by themselves as, as well as they can purchase it from other places. So that energy can be directly used in their offices and development sites. And they can also use that energy in the data centers as well. And this also helps to power them, their Google platforms and the other devices as well. So this is the complete Google value chain. So in which we have suppliers and communities, we have employees and communities, we have consumers and users. And after this, these are the numbers which they are saying we are using 100% renewable energy. If it is 100%, it is very, very great for an organization of that size. So then there are different things which they have designed. They have uh, tried to improve their uh, PUE, which was the same, which is same as that of Facebook. They have generated, uh, they are able to have 78, uh, 7x of their computing power. They are able to uh, <clears throat> divert 87% of their wastage from the landfills. So they are 87%. Now see, we diverted 87% of waste, waste from our global data center operations away from landfills. They are trying to reduce the overhead energy use in Google data centers and they are able to do it at a very good rate they have uh, used you can say from 2008 to 2018 during these 10 years they have reduced it to half about half I mean, from 20 they have reduced it to 11 it is a good number this is how companies are working towards the sustainability of a green cloud they want to give the services where they are going to generate zero carbon emission but it is very long way to go they need to set up a lot of data set a uh, lot of windmills they might need to set up a lot of uh, uh, another other uh, energy resources such as their methane gas as well as their solar panels so they need to develop the electricity uh, generate the electricity at a very high amount because along with this with uh, new technologies coming in place they need to have more high power consumption so this is this is something in which they have uh, said how much electricity they are generating and how they are generating it so they, these are uh, these yellow dots are the solar panels which generate the electricity whereas these blue lines which we have they are related to wind so how they are reaching to 100 percent because with the uh, with the time passing they need to generate more and more electricity so in 2011 there was no electricity which was renewable whereas in 2018 they are having 100 percent of renewable energy whereas in the case of facebook it was only 75 percent which was renewable rest 25 percent they were consuming from other resources this is how google has achieved a hundred percent renewable energy resource and there are different methods first one which we have talked was windmills second they have landfills they are using methane gas to generate the electricity this was all about the topic thank you so much for your time